I'm Sahar and this gentleman are Arash and Famir. Fam uh, Arash is the one, sorry, is the one with shorts. Oh, with shorts? <laughs> <laughs> so as much as said, we are from Iran, uh, but surprisingly we all met in New Zealand, not in Iran. And we are the co-founders of Kara Technologies and today we want to share with you the story of Kara. Um, so imagine you're a deaf child born in beautiful New Zealand in a small town. Your parents are hearing uh, because it's the most possible scenario because more than 90% of deaf children are born into hearing parents. So your parents have no idea what to do and how to communicate with you. And this confusion will lead, to, will lead into problem in your language acquisition. And the problem persists for a lifetime. Then you go to school. There's no special school in your area because you're living in a remote area. And you have to go to a normal school. You are deaf, you cannot hear, you cannot speak, you cannot write, and you cannot read, and everything in your school is in English. If you're lucky, you will have access to a special teacher once a week. But that is not enough, and you will feel frustrated. And you might drop out of school, as many deaf children do. Then you grow up, and you go to the society, but you don't, feel ex you don't feel included. You feel like you're always in the shadows because everything that is in audio is not accessible to you. For example, you, can, you cannot go to cinema with your friends or you can't even come to New Frontiers and hear all these good talks. I don't know about you, but I would feel frustrated and I would feel, I would lose the sense of belonging. And this is the story of more than 34 million deaf children around the globe. Three years ago, like many of you, we were not aware of this problem, but until, until Arash lost hearing in one of his ears, and he realized that there's a chance that he gets completely deaf. Then he started asking questions to know more, and then three of us gathered together and propose a solution that we think it can improve the situation. Our solution, like Martin said, is to leverage the computer technology today to make sure that we create an impact. <coughs> what we've created is the world's first artificially neural network backed avatar that is to translate content into sign language. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Nikki. Over the past year, we've worked with the deaf education centers in New Zealand to perfect her every part, from her facial expressions to the whole body, so that Nikki can communicate perfectly in sign language. Sign language involves facial expressions and the full body, and Nikki is able to portray that and convey all the information in sign language, in any sign language that is from the world. Um, she can now communicate in, in sign language, and I want Nikki to show and introduce herself. In today's digital world, there is just so much information being created, and there's just so much information out there. On YouTube, for example, there's more than 500 hours of content uploaded every single minute. What do you do with all that information? If you're deaf, you cannot access any of that. And what we want to be able to do is use Nikki, use the technology that we are developing to make sure that everyone around the world um, can have access to that if they're from any part of the world. There's more than 188 sign languages that exist around the world. New Zealand sign language is different to Australia, to American sign language, and we want to be able to use and leverage the power of the artificial neural networks to get there. And we want to do it with your help. So the whole journey started with, uh, with my personal problem. Now we come across with the solution. Now we want to take it to the next level. We want to make it as a movement which is a start in our beautiful New Zealand. So here's the plan. Within a couple of years, we like to provide accessibility to everything, books, website, video, audio, to every single deaf person around the globe, no matter what their skin color is, no matter where they're coming from, no matter what sign language they're using. 
Thank you. So, um, so many people um, asking me to uh, teach them something in sign language. So the vocabulary of the day is this. This is the sign for love. So I want you guys to spread the love. So if you are an um, investor, if you are from government or industry, or if, you, if you basically know anyone from government or industry in New Zealand, outside of the New Zealand, or interested to provide that solution, please come to talk to us. Love you all. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.